day four of New York Toy Fair, and we're at Boss Fight Studio. We're joined over here by Eric Arana. How y'all doing? We're doing good. <laughs> day four, we're all a little bit loopy, so yeah, it's all a little confusing today. We're here with Eric, Boss Fight, and he's going to do a little bit of an unboxing with us at Tier Live at Toy Fair. <laughs> Eric, what do you have for us yeah. today? Um, uh, first off, I want to say I've never done an unboxing video, so we'll see how this all goes. I'm winging it. <laughs> and we all are today. <laughs> day four Toy Fair is never a good day to wing it. No. <laughs> it is, we're all very tired. Oh, yeah. So we're going to open up our uh, deluxe accessory kit uh, Gladiators set. This is uh, on pre-sale right now, and it's actually on the water. It should be in our warehouse any second now. Got this gorgeous illustration by Lost in Wallace of comic book fame, and he just knocked it out of the park. It's very dynamic. Yeah, he's crazy. And I basically told him, like, I sent him all these images of the characters. And I was like, maybe a lion or maybe maybe in a gladiatorial arena and stuff. And he was just, he knocked it out of the park. He killed it. Yeah, it's great looking packaging. And uh, it is, I like how it's really shelf easy as well. <laughs> yes, it's, we, we designed it so it can sit on a shelf in a store or hang on a peg in a store. Um, on the back, we have some cross-sell for our Mighty Steeds line. We also have, uh, these are the pieces that come in it, minus the, the, to yeah, the, figures. the figures themselves. You can see we have uh, some images on the side here. We have our standard uh, credits, everyone who works at the company, everyone who worked on the product. It's so great that you guys are giving credit to all those people out there. I mean, it's, a lot of companies don't do that. And yeah, I think. It's unfortunate. Yeah, it, it is. And so many people work so hard on it. Um, Brian Hickey from Ireland, he does a lot of our package designs. He did this. And again, he's just, he's amazing. He's, he, he's always on the same page as us when it comes to packaging. Kudos to you guys for giving credit where credit is due. <laughs> Thank you. Looks good. Let's crack this guy open, Eric. So, yeah, let's. Uh, Spill its guts. So I'm going to cut that. Very skillfully by not cutting himself. Very yes, good. yeah, which is boxings. that's uh, rare that I don't <laughs> slice myself open when I'm holding an exacto blade. I mean, if you did, it probably means better ratings for me. Well, the yeah, that's true. Blood. More blood, happen. more ratings. That's how it works, right? Blood, guts, nudity, you got it. Yep. So uh, I can do nudity. That's easier than blood. Let's hold off on that for now. <laughs> <laughs> well, here, if we went to nudity, there we go. We'll get back to this rainbow of nudity. <laughs> there we go. So, yeah, right here we've got. Two bags worth of accessories. Very nice. So are they broken up by, uh, I guess, which, which accessories they are, essentially? This yeah. Is the net dude, that's the armored dude stuff, I guess. Well, kind of. It's like kind of mixing together. The, the fem female parts and the uh, male parts are here kind of mixed together. And then down here, it looks like their main, like you've got the arms and the soft goods bit and the ABS parts seem to be in here. So it looks like it's a kind of separated more by uh, ABS and PVC. The arms are PVC, but because they're a different process, <laughs> they probably just put them in this bag to begin with. So there's a lot of pieces. How many pieces are actually in the six set? We're going to have to uh, count, actually. I never remember these things. <laughs> All right, so we'll do our, uh, our best counting. Here. Yeah, best so counting, yeah, we'll see if we can count. You All can right. see here we've got the male, female parts. And the only reason they're, you know, signified as male, female is because of the sh body shape. And we've got uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces in there. Nine. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> and then... Um, and then these are all for 3.75 inch figures, correct? Yes. So your G.I. Joe scale and of course the Vitruvian Hex. Yes. So we've got a 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17 pieces. Fully painted, all new sculpts, not available with any of our single figures, like our normal accessory packs are usually very uh, reliant on our previous tooling. It's very you've, cool, so it's a lot of different things, weapons, helmets, shields, yep. armor, different limbs. I like the detail on the shield, especially right there. Oh yeah, the shield is, um, Hold it up for you there. Thank you. Wow, look at that. It's a great looking shield. Great attention to detail that Boss Fight Studio is known for. Thank you. And we got a, on the back, you can see the wood. Oh, wow. And the wow. leather straps and the... As someone just getting into customizing, I'd love to just prime that and just paint it myself. Yeah. Tons of fun with it. It looks <laughs> like these are all just great little pieces. This is the male arm. So you can... Uh... A little stiff right out of the box. Yep. But, anybody but I got it moved. Yeah, they know the tricks. Yeah, they know the tricks. You can, I, um... 
hot water that if Stephanie you buy one of these yourselves or yeah blow dry a little bit it'll loosen right up we designed them so they could um they we didn't have to paint any flesh parts so you could use whatever color figure you want on them the female arm which is actually the opposite arm <laughs> <laughs> then we've got a basic sword the bent sword which i actually recently found out is actually to reach over the shield of your opponent and yep. stab downward, which I did not know. It's forgotten technique, yeah. yeah. Be, uh, a lot of the warfare was done, they'd actually go over the armor and go around it. Yep. Very odd, but makes sense if you think about it. We have one that there was a uh, handheld sickles that they put their hand inside and grab. Like on a real one, there's like a handle inside. But then um, on ours, you have to remove the figure's hand and put it in, and there's like a ring in there that'll like kind of friction fit to the wrist. Uh, very neat. Now, uh, you guys have is, are those figures over there? With yes. You? All right, so can you show us those? Yeah, Let's yeah. see how it looks all together. So we've got a, I've got a male and female here. And uh, the female, the feet, well, I call it the female helmet, but it fits on a male head as well, is actually a helmet. Um, so there's like a head underneath and it's got the, uh, the kind of iron bikini and she's got the arm on. You can put the figure's hand back on there, so it it looks like she's wearing that. It's got her the female greaves with all these cool skulls on it. Yeah, really and nice craziness going on. Again, if you're a customizer, rather, this is your dream coming true. This so <laughs> I'm just imagining taking some like Games Workshop shade paint, and just going over the armor. Nice. I'm just I'm, just, I'm doing all the planning in my head. <laughs> and then the, the trident based on a actual gladi gladiatorial trident, actually. The trident is usually used in the gladiator world w w alongside the, the nets. And what we did with the net was we designed it so it's kind of on a pull string system. Um, and it can go over and around the figure and then pull tight. Oh, that's so cool. So you actually can capture them. Yeah. Very nice. Well, I, I mean, initially, uh, when I initially had designed it, I kind of designed this, like, crumpled up sculpt of a net that would just, they would just hold and it would look like that. But I was like, yeah, that didn't seem as fun. It didn't seem as cool. So we started playing around with uh, the soft goods. And then here we've got the male parts. Again, the crazy details on the greaves. The lions and it's a repeated motif up here on the shoulder armor. And then we've got the new arm, the skirt, the sword, and then the male head is actually on a ball. And we, we did that because the undercuts on the helmet, like this helmet actually like curves down under the chin. So they would have never been able to pull that out of the mold if we had carved all that in out to so a head could fit in there. They would never be able to pull this out of the, the steel tool. Oh, so right. we, we decided just to make it a, a head, a fused head helmet combo. Makes sense. Good choice. Um, and, and if you switched the ball to a female ball, because the, the, on, our, on our system... The ball that goes into the neck is a different size on the male and female, but the ball that goes into the head is the same size. So you could still use this helmet on a female figure if you switch out the ball, the, the barbell. Okay, very cool. Good to know. So that's our look at the Vitruvian Hacks Gladiator Deluxe Accessory Set here at Toy Fair with Eric from Boss Fight Studio. And this is their first year here. They've been around for quite some time, but this is the <laughs> first year they made it to Toy Fair, so I'm glad you guys are here. Spreading the word of Boss Fight all over. Yeah. yeah. We have some extended coverage on the website. We took a look at some of the Bucky O'Hare stuff. They have the, their new I Am Brilliance line as well. Uh, Sam and Max figures. So make sure you guys watch that video as well later today. So Eric, thank you so much for this. For no problem. Fight. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. And uh, folks who don't know about Boss Fight and want to learn more about Truby and Hacks and everything else you guys are doing, uh, how do they find out more? Um, you can always check us out. We're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. We're on Twitter. And our... Uh, Store always has updates and we're always putting new stuff up. Uh, it's bossfightshop.com. And 
Yeah, Facebook is honestly the best place to find out about stuff. We are constantly constantly posting on there. So. Okay, very cool. But yeah, so guys, make sure to follow them on Facebook. Stay up to date on all the cool stuff they're doing because there really is so much cool stuff in their booths today. Here's some of the Steve talked about earlier, and you can see in the back right there the Bucky O'Hare stuff, which we covered earlier today. So again, this is Matthew from Nerd News today. I'm going to just finish up with this shot here of their really cool mini figures, not mini figures, but they're really cool fantasy figures. So awesome. Thank you guys for watching. Day four of here of Toy Fair 2019. Stay tuned for more Toy Fair coverage coming up soon.